Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial video brought to you by Jericho Graphics. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to paint a goalie mask. And you're probably wondering why this has to do with graphics. And that is because the layout, the design work on the helmet, I did using Corel Draw. Now, the design I used was uh, from my favorite goalie back in the 90s, uh, Felix Podvan. And so, basically, how I started with this was is I got some different pictures of the helmet itself. And I brought all these photos into Corel Draw, and I started to basically trace the design out and uh, build a template. Once I was done that, I took that template, printed it out on paper, and cut it to fit my my helmet. So I had to do some adjusting and and make sure that the template fit well. Once that was done, I took that template, had it printed out uh, on some vinyl decals done by a local print shop. Uh, brought the decals back. Once that was done. Uh, I started to work on the helmet. Now the helmet I had, I had already put into primer. You can get a can of primer from uh, some paint shop for like 10 bucks. Uh, I sprayed, I uh, sanded the helmet first and then I sprayed it with some primer. Uh, and then once that was done, I took, if you look at the, the helmet design that I had, I have to mask uh, right around where the cage is. There's a thin white bead that goes under the cage. I had masked that and basically took that mask and then from that point I sprayed the first coat on this helmet with the white trim. Uh, I also did a, I did a couple of helmets at the same time with this but I'm just going to do this tutorial on just the one blue helmet. So I sprayed the white and then after that I let it dry overnight and then I uh, masked over the white paint I had done and then did the first coat of blue on the, the helmet. I did a couple coats of blue. Once the, the blue was good, I took the mask that was over top of that white bead, peeled it off, and uh, the helmet actually looked really, really good. Uh, I'm using really cheap paint. This is like stuff you can pick up 10 bucks a can, uh, automotive paint, and uh, just do light coats. and Keep it simple. Don't go to town and do a thick, thick, heavy coat because you want to get it done in one one spray. You're just going to wreck it. Just take your time and do it easy. Uh, after after I had a couple coats I was happy with, I uh, started to peel off the decals and apply the decals. Um, when you're doing it, putting on vinyl is a bit of an art in itself. And if you're going to do this, one thing that you need to be careful of is uh, vinyl uh, and goalie helmets. Goalie helmets have a lot of curves and the vinyl isn't always so happy about having to bend over things so you want to take a blow dryer or a heat gun and uh, slowly work uh, the vinyl onto the helmet using a bit of heat. Don't overheat it because you can stretch the vinyl completely out of shape but uh, you might want to practice this on some stuff so get it when I had the vinyl done I had a couple extra different uh, a couple extra pieces run so if I make a mistake I can just peel it off and then try it on another one. Um, once that was done uh, with the vinyl, uh, you might have to, uh, one other thing with the vinyl, you may need to have an extra hand depending on what part you're going to be doing because this helmet has uh, a few small pieces but the chin piece and the side piece is one massive piece of vinyl and you have to do it all good at the same time so I needed an extra hand to help me out so I had my brother-in-law come over, he helped me basically apply the vinyl. Uh, he used the heat gun and then I worked it in because uh, you don't want to get bubbles and you don't want to get lines in, into the vinyl. You want to take your time and, and work it in. And this, this, the bottom piece on this helmet alone probably took us maybe an hour, two hours to get this on there uh, without bubbles and wrinkles and all the rest of it. Uh, so once that was done, um, I had to take the helmet and trim out the, uh, trim out the excess that went over top of the white bead that's where the cage will be and uh, because I had the blue paint and the white paint I just once you had the vinyl you could see the seam where that white paint edge was and I just took my razor blade and just cut that vinyl out peeled it off and it looked good uh, after that I had fun and I did some clearing uh, again I just got a can of clear uh, from the paint shop and I used about a whole spray can on one helmet so we did three helmets and uh, so that was three cans of clear. Now we wanted it because you're using vinyl you want to make sure that you get 
to clear over the vinyl really well because you have that little bump where the vinyl meets the paint kind of thing. So you, you want to do a good two, three coats of clear coat on there. Now the thing with the vinyl was I was not very good at uh, clearing and the lighting in the shop was bad and I didn't really, wasn't able to see it that well and so I had a f bunch of runs and I was like, oh man, I was a little bit choked because I had, hadn't done anything like this before and up to this stage it was looking really good and then when I cleared it, the, there were just runs in the clear and it looked terrible. So I did some, uh, some uh, Google homework and found a bunch of guys on these airbrush forms that do this kind of stuff and, and automotive painters and stuff and they basically said, you know, you can do wet sanding and all this kind of stuff to help it. But one guy that I found actually said to use a razor blade and basically like applying putty, lightly just scrape where the, the run is until it's back down to the, to the clear. But make sure you have a good amount of clear on your, on your mask before you start to peel it off. You don't want to scrape through the clear coat into the vinyl and uh, wreck your decal. So once that was done, uh, I was actually really happy that it turned out it looked awesome, got the runs out. And um, once that was done, I basically assembled the helmet back together and uh, this is what it looks like.